Hi, we're Dudes in Space. And this is Bob's Burgers Burgers. Let's cook. Oh! Come on, let me film you! No. Yes! No. Yes! No. Yes! No. Fine. Yay! Kids, we're making an audition tape for your father! Hello, Gene. You look intriguing today, son. Why, thank you, mother! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on! Grrr. Okay, are you ready? Action! Uh, okay, so, uh, I am preparing the onion-tended consequences burger. <laughs> now, first you have to caramelize the onions, and no, I don't mean add caramel. <laughs> <laughs> then you add some fresh thyme, which I have right here. Then it's time to add the goat cheese. And voila! Ah! Notice me! And cut! We have successfully smoked the entire house up with our burgers. Look at these rays of sunshine. <laughs> we should make potatoes I'm for our next for burger. All right. Which is? <clears throat> the poutine on the Ritz burger. Poutine on the Ritz. Ready? Yeah. Good evening, sports fans. I'm Travis, and today we're gonna make the poutine on the Ritz hamburger on Bob's Burgers Burgers. That's a really good intro. Good job, Travis. Hey, I'm gonna cut a potato. Do you wanna help me cut a potato? I'll watch you cut a potato yeah. with this camera. All right, first you wanna have super shaky hands, okay. and you just wanna hit it like this. Why don't you want the skin on your fries? Because this is Canadian, not American. The last poutine fries I saw had Skin on. You know, honestly, it's because I don't want to have to put all the effort into making it good because we're going to be lazy frying today. Oh. But you should probably edit that part out. I'll leave it in for sure. All right, so now we need to make this into fry-like shape things. Are these uh, small enough french fries for you? No. That's a good size fry? That is a tater log. That's a different thing. <laughs> I'll take one log of tater, please. You ever had tater logs? No, I haven't. You can get them at the gas station. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you never been to a Chester's and got the tater logs? No, I have not. They're Is that cool really a potato. thing? Yes, really. You know what I really like, speaking of fries? fries. Yucca fries. Really? I yeah. wouldn't have pegged you as a yucca guy. Well, you're not, you were with me when I had the yucca fry experience of my life. Oh, we were all a little. Oh, it was out so good. It. No, it was, it was that good both times. No, I'm saying that I, I oh, wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. Okay. Of you know, I don't have a lot of memories of it. We want rustic taters. Hey, but that's not that's not a poutine tater. Yes, it is. Oh no, man. How many times have you been to Canada? <laughs> Eight. That's a lie too. That is definitely a lie. We'll do about about four minutes. That's bubbly. Yeah, it is. That's bubbly indeed. And we run into the midnight sun. That sounds like the Neil Diamond version of that it song. It is. Hello, I'm Luke. glad you heard that. That's something. I think it was rude. Look at these hamburgers frying. Oh man, this is the first time I've ever seen a hamburger fry. Hamburger fries. Whatever happened? Hamburger fries. Hamburger fries. Hamburger fries. Go. Hamburger fries. Loki, there's no food for you. Go. Go. So uh, I'm just gonna film you on your phone here. Hanging out. I'm gonna go urinate. All right, we're taking burgers off. Yep. We're gonna let them hang out over here for a little while. Okay. Now we're gonna make all this delicious gravy, meat into gravy. First, we're gonna take some beef broth and deglaze this pan. It's gonna get nice and splashy. Beef broth. You ready? Yeah. They're gonna smoke. 
yet. I'm gonna throw a little bit of this flour in there. The flour? Get it all good in one time. This is definitely the kind of pan you wanna cook. Gravy in? in. Let that come up to a boil. It'll knock all those little chunks out of there. We'll Hopefully. Right. Kind of like throw up. It is. Throw that back this way. We're going to knock these fries back in there. Ready? Yep. Fries, round two. All right, we've got french fries that are just about ready to come out of the oil. We've got a gravy working. You want to see it? Oh, wow. It's Ooh. turning into gravy. And of course, why they're still teeming. Oh yeah. Oh, soften babies up. Mm -mm. We're also gonna throw some onion powder on there. Okay, I know that. We're also gonna throw okay. a little bit of parsley on there. I'm, I guess I'm down with that. That'd be good. This gives it a little hop. And a little bit of black pepper. Oh my gosh. Well seasoned fry. Yeah, I thought so. In the future, maybe don't do the gravy in a ridged pan. Yeah, I get stuck in the ridges, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you don't get a smooth boil. Mm. And all the delicious bits get stuck in there. So you've got to like scrape them out. Mm. That's all right, because we don't need a whole lot. We don't want it to be runny and whatnot. All right, we're assembling the poutine on the Ritz burger. So I'm gonna take a bottom of a bun, which we've got soaking up a little bit of that gravy. On that, we're gonna do our burger patty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Oh, right. yeah. Now here's where it's gonna get a little tricky. We've got some brown beef gravy. I'll just give it a little bit of that right there. And then we've got some delicious French fries. Maybe we'll go like that. I want to cross just to hold them all together. All right, then we've got cheese curds. We'll do a couple underneath here. Then we're going to come in with some more of that gravy. Good ball. Well. And then finally, this is poutine on the Ritz. So we got a little dust o ritz right that there. That works perfectly. We're here for our final installment of Bob's Burgers Burgers. Bob's Burgers Burgers. 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 And this one is one I'm uh, actually pretty excited about. This is the final entry in season one of our show, Bob's Burgers Burgers. Burgers. Um, what we have here is poutine on a burger. Yeah, we've got fries, we've got beef gravy, we've got cheese curds on top of an all beef patty, on top of a grilled wheat bun. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's a lot of effort that went into cooking this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm stoked. Also, I forgot, we've got a Ritz cracker sprinkle yes. on the top because this poutine is the poutine, on, poutine the on the Ritz burger. Yes. Um, so, what would you pay for this burger in a restaurant? This is a $20 burger. This would definitely be, because like, if you have an understanding of the kitchen, there's no way that this could be easily made. Right. I mean, I guess if you already serve poutine, you already serve burgers, you could get away with like a $12 or $13 burger. I really but don't if you're doing so. it special. This is a involved thing. Yeah. Making fries, good fries at a restaurant is not the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. You know, you've got to have a lot of prep, you know, you've got to have those potatoes Timing done before. Timing is important for fries also. Yeah, and so this would be a chore. I would say this is like an 18 to $20 okay. thing that you would only find at a restaurant that was very daring and 
kind of ballsy chef. So yeah, as you saw, we uh, cooked the patties, made a gravy in that, we uh, hand cut fries, fried those up, uh, put cheese curds, gravy. Yes, we- uh, Look at that. Toasted a bun. Toasted the buns. No, the... Most restaurants won't even do that. Yeah, that's true. Look, that's a, listen to that. Crystals will. Oh, I hear it. It's nice and toasty. This is gonna be a tough one to eat though. We've got oh, a lot of I falling parts. We've got some delicious beef. I wanna eat it! Alright. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah, you may. This burger has the potential to be really great. Mm -hmm. It needs one thing. What? Ketchup. You think? Yeah. I could see that. There was ketchup on this burger, as ketchup should be on all burgers. I mean, could you, you know, you would be remiss not to have it. On your french fries that you're already eating. All right. On this burger that's delicious. It's just missing that little zing that I think would really send it on up to the top. But as this is cooked, we should go ahead and put it on the numbers and then we'll talk about it. Because I don't want to spoil, you know, where we think this sits. Okay, fine. So we're judging as is. As is, we have a list built of our six burgers we've already had. Yeah, and that list is is pretty pretty impressive. We've made some really yeah. interesting hamburgers. Still no bad burgers on this list. Let's take it down from the bottom. Okay. All right, the, the worst thing we've had here so far, I fought the slaw, barbecued hamburger with slaw on top of it. It just- It was plain. It was plain. Mm -hmm. It just, it didn't contend with the other guys. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't good enough. Number five? Mm -hmm. We had take me out to the burger, burger. Yeah, that was the baseball burger. We've got peanut butter and Cracker Jacks mm -hmm. on it. And it wasn't that it was bad. It was different, it was interesting. It just wasn't good enough to beat out the other burgers like number four. Mm -hmm. Four. Foot feta-ish. That's where we're starting to get interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. Now on that one, we've got feta cheese. We did kind of a, a Greek take. We had some fried capers on mm -hmm. it. We had some, uh, some mustard and some lettuce. And it was just really, well done. Yeah, it was well rounded. Yeah, that was it. Was a, it was our first fancy burger? That's mm -hmm. something we could see on a restaurant menu that kind of kicked a little butt, uh, which takes us to three. Eggers can't be cheesers, which was our breakfast burger. Yeah, that had sausage on it, had a fried egg on it, had bacon on it. It was this tall. Mm -hmm. It was this tall. And what that was really exaggerated. That was just good because it can't not. Be Tasted good. like everything you wanted in breakfast, but also you're having a burger. Best brunch thing I've ever seen in my sure. life. I guess if you're a bruncher. Number two is where it got pretty darn cool with the Poblano Picasso burger. Oh yeah. On that we had roasted poblanos that we did here in the house. We had salsa, we had a beef patty, we had uh, we had some Mexican cheese on it that was ooey and gooey and delicious. And that was probably the most like gourmet yeah, burger that I we think made. So. That was something that you'd find on a, a nice menu. You go to a, a nice steakhouse, they have a burger. That's the burger they have. See. Si, senor, they do. Number one, though, so far, it was our first one. Yeah, we, we, started, we started on top. Yeah. Was the band on the bun comes with wings hamburger. It was made for me. It was wings mm -hmm. on a burger, yep. hot sauce, yep. ranch, yeah. uh, and what was, and I had celery. a little bit of celery yeah. on there, and we had some blue cheese crumbles on it, too. Okay, yeah. And it's everything you wanted That's in right. delicious hot wings and everything you wanted in a delicious hamburger. Right there. Right there. Yeah, that was a good burger. two buns, you just put it in your mouth. It was unbelievable. And that's that's one that I don't know if, if we're gonna find a winner. To I think it. we I should decide right I now. I guess we gotta figure out where this one <clears throat> lies. Now this is the... I know where I'm gonna put it. I don't know if it's where you're gonna put it. I think like four out of six so far we've agreed on, if I'm remembering correctly. That's correct. You know what? I'm ready. I know where it's going. All right. Three, two, one, four. Three. Ooh, really? I think I don't think this beats Eggers can't be cheesers. Really? I, I think it just does, but I don't think that strongly enough to not give it to you. Yeah, and I'll I'll explain why I don't sure. think. This in principle is great. This in look is great. This is the best looking burger we've made. I think so. Um but it just does, it doesn't have that thing 
Um, it's really savory. Like everything yeah. on it is savory. It doesn't have what anything. What if there was a spicy ketchup on it though? Spicy ketchup probably would help. Oh, man, I think. I think if one. we just over salted everything else, it could also help. Though. For sure. Yeah. I just um, don't think it beats it. I'm okay with this being fourth place. That Eggers can't beat Cheezers was. That really was. Good. God, you can't beat that. So there you have it. That's the top seven of our version of Bob's Burgers Burgers on this show. Yeah, and uh, we That's hope it. you like it. If you do like it, let us know. We have more burgers on our list yeah. Um, yeah, we that can, we want to do. So we we'll bring back two to season more two. seasons. Yeah. yeah, we can do it if you like it. So tell us in the comments below that you like it. If you really want to help, this was kind of an expensive series. Check us out at patreon.com slash dudes in space. Uh, you can support the show through some avenues as well as gain access to premium content there. And if you want to be our friend on Facebook, we're always down to Facebook too. Yeah, we like to talk. We'll talk to you anyway. We have an Instagram. We have a Snapchat. Yeah, we don't we don't do the Snapchat that much, <laughs> but if we ever go somewhere, we like to snap. Uh, Other than that, really like that you hang out with us. We hope that you tune into the show on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and if you're around Thursday night looking for something to do, you can find us on Twitch at 8.30 Central Time, where we'll be playing video games, hanging out, doing whatever we want to while we're chatting with you. So thanks for following the show. We'll see you in the future. Bye. Bye! Hi, if you like this video, please click the like button, click the subscribe button and tell all your friends. And check out one of these videos. If you want to support the show, click the Patreon link.